once again wrote this today. Uh, <laughs> I finished it on my way over and it uh, means a lot to me. It's called, This Is Not a Compliment. Do you curl your hair every day? Is it real? Is it hard to maintain? What do you put in it? If I have kids with a black man, will their hair come out like that? You don't wash it every day. What are you mixed with? Oh my God, your curiosity is not a compliment. This is not 20 questions. And the last time I checked, my forehead did not have a sign reading hair museum on it. I see you turning your head to the left and then to the right, like you're some kind of intellect with some type of insight, but this is not a hair museum, see? I've got too many kinks and curls for just one exhibit. Too many waves might cause motion sickness if you look too closely. Your ship might get wrecked if you touch my hair one more time. I spent all morning, sin, all morning sitting between my mama's legs trying to style and perfect my mane from the roots to the ends. Sometimes I hate my roots because my ancestors are the reasons why I break a comb every time I try to get to them. But then other days I say thank you on these good hair days when the wind blows the right way. The ringlets are ringing, baby hairs all laid down, edges all intact all the way to the kitchen in the back, smoothed up with no bobby pins. What y'all know about that blue magic grease, that coconut oil, that edge control, all the best types of paint to paint this perfect picture since apparently black women are hair museums for the uneducated who try to figure out all the strokes and brushes we use to create our masterpieces. Oh my God, your hair is so soft, it's like cotton is not a compliment. It reminds me of those who came before me. Fingertips soaked in blood from picking cotton. That cotton t-shirt draped across you. Maybe you should run your hair through a cotton gin so you can try to comprehend our struggle. My hair reminds me of a struggle. It does not remind me of cotton. It reminds me of up at the crack of dawn sweating in the sun on a slave plantation. My curls are mixed with the same genes of that of a slave and a slave master. My hair is perfect justification that racism should no longer be an ism. It should be lynched by its neck and hung out to dry. We need to stop coexisting and learn how to coincide. Sometimes I'm afraid to go outside with a hood on in fear that I'll either get shot or asked why I have a hood on when simply, I don't feel like doing my hair today. <laughs> oh my God, you should totally straighten your hair. It'll look so good is not a compliment. It's a closed minded suggestion, suggestion suggesting that I don't like my hair the way it is. My hair is part of my pride, and even with straight hair, I can never wash away who I am inside. It'll start to wave at the roots and curl back up again, and you'll come back and say, oh, I wish I had hair like yours. Mine doesn't do anything, which is not a compliment, but a personal problem that I can't help you solve. <laughs> I've spent too long trying to help you. I've been allowing my hair to be a hair museum for people who don't even understand my background. <laughs>